taught me many realizations. Twenty taught me never be complacent. I've got twenty years and I'm still changing. I've lived twenty lives and needed saving. So I got all these layers stacking up like Tetris. The depths of who I am cannot be seen in metrics. More than meets the eye or meets imagination. Yeah. Want to say hi? What up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> are Lulu of course because still have not found any leggings that are better than Lulu for me my top is from forever 21 got it on sale for nine dollars so and these shoes are my old new balances that have paint on them I was on my own, had to find a home up in my cell Plan a seed and grow, where I still cause I ain't have a shelf And it's hard to understand when you don't know my rules Yeah, it's hard to understand when you don't know the truth Cause we all got some that we don't like to mention And the things that keep me up, they made me who I am, yeah So I can never sit back, say that I regret it the pain I felt became a lesson than just a woman I'm more than just a person I got all these dimensions Whoa. Cause I'm more than any judgment I'm more than who I was, yeah I got all these dimensions Hey guys, it's the next day after I worked out. I just wanted to say a few things that I meant to say yesterday, but I ran out of time. Just about working out and how I've been trying to get re-motivated. For me, ever since the whole quarantine thing started happening, first the gym I was going to was closed, and that's where I do my cardio. I love to do the Stairmaster at the gym. And so I really got out of the habit of doing a lot of cardio. I mean, I would do some at home video workouts and things like that, but it's still, I was, I just still kind of got lazy with it and I didn't really have a workout routine. And I definitely noticed a, a slight difference in the way I looked from, you know, just 
not working out as much and getting out of that routine. And of course it's easy to, at times when you notice those things, get really down on yourself and frustrated, but we go through seasons in life. We're never gonna look to our fullest potential 24 seven, you know, just because you might not be in the best shape of your life, you're still you and you're still beautiful. And it really hit me that, for example, when I look at my friends, I don't see if they're in their best shape or if they can maybe get a little more toned or lose a few pounds or whatever. I don't, like, I don't see those things. I just look at them as my friend and I look at them as the person that they are as a whole and I see them as beautiful and someone that I love. And I really wish that we could learn to start looking at ourselves like that. I've been trying to work on it. Yes, I definitely believe that it's really important to want to improve yourself and be healthy and take care of your body. But I think there's a good balance between giving yourself grace for not being perfect all the time, but also wanting to work hard and, you, and improve yourself. So that being said, um, the day that I filmed my workout video was kind of like my first day of getting back into my workout zone and to my workout groove. And so if you feel me at all, if you relate with the whole lazy quarantine, no workout, no routine, join me in this journey. Let's go. Let's get remotivated. Let's start working out again. Cause I know for me, like I just, I feel so much better on the inside. When I'm working out, I just feel so much more energetic. I feel, you know, more confident in myself just because I know that I'm putting in the work and I know that I'm taking care of my body. Like I said, every season of life is different, but let's get back into it. Let's take care of ourselves. Thanks for listening to my little rant. I love you guys. I hope that was encouraging in some way. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you what I put in my smoothies. Normally I would have had a smoothie yesterday after I worked out, but I ran out of time. So I'm just going to show you today because I'm about to have a smoothie. Okay, so let's start off with frozen fruit. Um, I always use a mix of frozen banana. I usually just do half of a frozen banana. Some frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries. And oh, rest. Oh, wow, that came out fast. That's a big old chunk. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water so that it can go down to the bottom before I add other stuff in. Or sometimes I do almond milk. Either way. All right, next, I'm going to add some spinach. Of course, you always got to add spinach because you can't taste it. And it's a great way to get some green stuff stuff down in there. I really need to get a bigger cup. Um, I use the magic bullet and these are the only size cups I have. So uh, I'm kind of struggling to stuff everything in here, but I'm gonna upgrade to a bigger cup soon. Then I'm gonna add some vanilla non-fat Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's. This is key. This is key to the good texture and good flavor. Um, so if you don't want it to be too bitter, make sure you get some vanilla flavored yogurt because that'll really make it taste good. I find that when I don't use, uh, like if I just use a plain Greek yogurt, my smoothies taste really bitter. So just add a couple big spoonfuls of this. All right, and then normally I would add my vanilla protein powder. I just use the organic protein powder. I ordered this off of Amazon. It tastes good. It's plant-based protein powder, five grams of organic fiber, 21 grams of protein, and five grams of net carbs. It is vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, and non-GMO, so I like this, but I'm not gonna use it today because I didn't work out before this, and I just ate something before this. So I don't want this to be too filling. But I am gonna add a little bit of peanut butter. This is just the creamy salted peanut butter from Trader Joe's. I just like to add a little spoonful of this to give it that extra creamy texture and add a little bit more protein. But you wanna be careful with the peanut butter because if you add too much, that's all you're gonna taste in your smoothie, so. My favorite ingredient is organic spirulina. Am I saying that right? I hope so. <laughs> this is just 
a powder that has complete proteins and it's rich in minerals. It's a dietary supplement. Um, it's vegan, non-GMO, all of that good stuff, gluten-free. It has 100% of your daily value of vitamin A, which I really like because vitamin A is super good for you. It's an anti-inflammatory, which is just really good for many reasons. It does great things for your body. For example, things like fruits and vegetables that have an anti-inflammatory effect on your body can actually help prevent things like cancer. So it's just really good for you. Also it has a little bit of iron, so. Supposedly this is actually dry from algae. But it smells like fish, which, ew. But it really doesn't taste bad. Like it doesn't taste bad in my smoothies. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And it's very, very messy. Um, yeah. Look at that. It's like the darkest greenish blue powder it just looks healthy you know if it looks like that you gotta know it's rich in minerals and vitamins also for a while i was putting chia seeds in my smoothies because i know those have a lot of benefits but they just kind of started getting a weird texture and they would get stuck in my blender so i stopped doing that but i do want to incorporate some more seeds into my smoothies because i know those have a lot of health benefits like chia seeds um hemp seeds or no I, I can't think of the other ones off the top of my head right now, but seeds are great to add. And I also want to start adding some collagen powder into my smoothies. see it turn out to be this lovely like gray color like this charcoal color that's what the spirulina will do with the blueberries oh yes <laughs> that looks so gross but it's really good for you so that actually tastes so good it tastes healthy, but good, if that makes sense. Got my all gray today. Sparkly slides. These are from Shein. My boyfriend got them for me. I think they're so fun. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.